Merry Christmas, more I saw, guys. <laughs> Got something a little special for you guys today. Let's talk about it. What's going on, YouTube? I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Again, Merry Christmas to you guys out there. Uh, it is Christmas, so um, I'm actually going to be bringing you guys probably two videos today, which is probably pretty awesome, right? <laughs> so two videos for you guys today, and I uh, want to talk about something today, man. Um, with it being uh, the Christmas holiday, um, I partnered up with uh, my good folks over at FragranceBuy.ca, and they are doing their um, box day sale and i wanted to make sure that i actually give you guys the information for that sale um there's a special link now i'm going to make sure i um, link of course put down in the description box uh, but you can get up to 30 percent buy one get 30 percent off now there's certain fragrances that, that apply to that particular uh, sale and discount so i'll make sure i use that link so you guys can see what fragrances apply but in addition to that you can actually use the code BOX10 to get 10% off anything on the site. Now, there's also going to be a code as well, which is BOXSHIP23. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not correct, I'll flash it across the screen. Uh, but you can actually use this for free shipping as well. Now, you can use the BOX30 in combination with the free shipping code or the BOX10 in combination with the free shipping code, but you cannot stack the box 30 and box 10 codes together. All right, but the other two, you can definitely uh, do that. But I uh, partnered up with them and I wanted to talk about uh, a brand that I don't think gets talked about a lot, the brand of Clive Christian. Now, when I first got into collecting fragrances, a lot of, I heard a lot of commentary on the brand. I'll just say it that way. All right, uh, most of it not good. I heard that for the most part, the consensus was that the brand, uh, the fragrances were high, too high of a price point for what you were getting. That in a nutshell was the general consensus, but I'm the type of person that I like to try things for myself. And since exploring the brand of Clive Christian, I have found there to be several fragrances that I really feel are worth the money. So I wanted to talk about three fragrances from the brand that I feel are worth it. So I'm going to run the intro, and when we come back, we'll get into it. Three fragrances from the brand of Clive Christian that are worth it, in my humble opinion. So if you want to see what I have to say, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. For real, man. <laughs> The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into the video. Now, this discount is going to run from the time that I post this video until 10.59, I'm sorry, 11.59 on the 28th. So that's how long you will have to shop uh, the uh, box day uh, discount savings that I'm talking about in this video. So again, I will make sure I link it down below where you can do so. So the brand of Cloud Christian. The first fragrance that I want to talk about is a fragrance that I actually got from FragranceBuy.ca, and that's how we made this collaboration happen. And this one is called Clive Christian E. Gourmand. You guys know I love a good gourmand. And uh, this fragrance right here is rum, cloves, that's a maple syrup, according here, vanilla, cinnamon. <sighs> but it's not the typical gourmand. There is a really... <clears throat> kind of smoky nuance to this fragrance as well. So there are some gourmand elements here, but it's not like the typical gourmand, but I really, really enjoy this fragrance. I cannot remember the name of the fragrance that came out about a year ago that was done by Cecile Zerokian from Amwaj, but it kind of reminds me of that fragrance slightly, uh, the tobacco fragrance that she did. But anyway, this is a really great fragrance. When you talk about the brand of Clive Christian, especially when you look at discounters like fragrancebuy.ca and some of the others out there if you can get this fragrance for a great price this is one that i really think from the brand um despite some of the not so good commentary out there that i feel like in my humble opinion is worth it so if you're like me and you do like like gourmand fragrances i think you will really enjoy this one that maple syrup accord in here is really creative and i really enjoy it 
in this scent profile. So anyway, one that I really feel like is worth it from the brand of Clive Christian is this one. Clive Christian E. Gourmand. Now this next fragrance is one that I have that I, this is so polarizing. I wanna mention it. I wouldn't say that this is for everybody, but I wanna mention this fragrance. This is Clive Christian X. Um, they do have one for women, but this is the one for men. This is a rhubarb, paprika, oak moss, styrax. This is a really polarizing fragrance, but I do honestly have a love-hate relationship with it. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. I know that's weird, but it depends on my mood, honestly, with this fragrance. Now, this is one for me that has to be worn for me to really enjoy it in the right setting, right temperatures and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, I have to be in the right mood, but a lot of people really like this one. Really masculine, earthy, that rhubarb on the opening is really, really different. <laughs> I said the paprika. This is a different fragrance, man, but I do love certain elements about it, especially the creativity of it and how masculine it really is. So kind of an honorable mention here. This is Clive Christian X for men. Now, probably my actual favorite fragrance from the brand of Clive Christian is this one is Amberwood. This is Amberwood, and of course, this is tobacco, tonka bean, vanilla, labdanum. They say oud is in here, although I don't really pick up oud, but this is my favorite. All right, that labdanum vanilla combination that kind of forms the amber accord in this fragrance is to die for. I love the how the sweetness of tonka bean comes in there. And I think there's a little bit of spicy cinnamon in this as well. This is just one of those scent profiles that makes my mouth water. It is that freaking good. Like I said, when it comes to the brand of Clive Christian, this is actually my favorite fragrance. So I highly recommend you guys check this one out. Like I said, if you're like me, you heard a lot of bad commentary about this brand. Check this one out, guys. Um, like I said, this is my favorite. I think you may find this one to be... Uh, one that you may really uh, find appealing as well. From the brand of Clive Christian, of course, my favorite is Amberwood. Now, the third fragrance that I would really recommend that I have smelled, I actually don't have a bottle yet. And I normally don't do this kind of thing without a bottle, but I have smelled it so many times. I've had a sample of it, and I've smelled it so many times in the store. But Clive Christian 1872 in the green bottle, I'll make sure I post a picture here. To me, this one is worth having. It's a citrus aromatic fragrance. It's like lime, grapefruit, musk, cedar wood. It is a really, really uh, gentlemanly citrus aromatic fragrance, honestly. Most people are venturing into fragrances. That's kind of where most people enter into fragrances, loving those citrus aromatics. And this is a citrus aromatic done well. So I'm gonna be adding a bottle to my collection really soon but I can honestly recommend it to you guys that to me, that is definitely one that is worth adding to your collection. So if you're looking at, again, three that I would say is definitely worth the price, especially at discounters and adding to your collection, Amberwood uh, 1872 and Clive Christian Igor Mine are three fragrances from the brand that your boy highly recommends. But that is it, guys. That is my time. That is all I have for you guys for today uh, on the sale. Again, make sure uh, you guys check out the sale they're having over there at fragranceby.ca. Uh, make sure you click on the link and uh, shop the Boxing Day uh, discount options um, that they have available over there at fragranceby.ca. I know a lot of us just spent money on Christmas, but if you still have that urge uh, to uh, add another fragrance to the collection before the end of the year, why not use uh, any discounts that you can get, right? Um, but as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments out to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information, find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darian, I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell Amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.